Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium with Java automation framework tutorial, we will continue our discussion and we will start adding the dependencies in the project that we created in the last tutorial. So what exactly are dependencies? So in very basic term, let me explain. So you see this JRE system library, right? If you expand this, it contains a lot of these jars. Now, these these are basically you know, from program files, Java, JDK, 11, and, and these are the libraries or the jars. So these jar file or the Java archive files, these basically contain all the Java classes and details that you need to work with Java so that when you write code here, you can actually execute it, understand that this is the Java code, right? So all of that, you know, JRE system library or the runtime environment will provide you once you import that into the project your project whenever you write something it will be able to understand that this is java code and that's how we have to execute it right so these are what uh, these this is what dependency is so if i'm trying to communicate in the hindi language or english language the person in front of me needs to understand that particular language or there needs to be a person who is interpreting that and explaining it to the other person right so something similar you can consider it here that these libraries or dependencies when you import it here in the project your project or the test cases can understand now first thing because we are learning selenium with java so java is by default which we, we have already set up we have created the maven project now the next thing is to we want to use selenium so we need to add selenium dependency or the library so one way is to download selenium library so you can basically you know go to selenium download search for that in google and go to this selenium download selenium.dev the first link that you'll see here and you you can download the latest version right so this will be the java um, jar file you will see that this is jar file and you can basically download it and import it into your project so basically here i can simply after downloading i can just right click go to build path and go to configure build path and in the libraries i can simply you know say add external jars and add the external jar or the jar that i'll download okay so that my project can understand so this is one way now because we are using this dependency management tool or this is a maven project so all of this management like manually adding these jars here is not required we can simply go ahead in pom.xml file right and that's what the beauty of maven is that like here we simply can add the dependency tags okay so here what we can do is let me increase the font a little bit all right so now here we can add the dependencies right so we simply need to add the dependencies here so just add dependencies tag and within these tags we can get the dependencies so whatever dependencies or the libraries that we want to include so these are the libraries basically we want to include so first thing selenium web driver then we'll be using the test framework so test ng is the test framework that we'll be using for reporting we'll be using starting with the report ng and then we'll build on different reports as well right so more advanced reports for logs we'll be using log4j and i have covered log4j tutorial in last couple of videos so go ahead and watch that test ng is also covered report ng is covered so apache poi uh, poi jars for reading the data and writing the data basically so reading the data from the excel file or a csv file and web driver manager to manage the uh, browser drivers so, so you do not have to manually download and configure those drivers right so these are some of the key dependencies to start with as we go along we'll be adding more right but to start with to be in a good shape to start we'll add all of these now where will you get these dependencies that's the another question so maven let me cancel this so maven central repository right so maven central repository is the repository that contains all of these dependencies so if you go to this maven uh, repository mvn repository.com central repository then you can search for the all the latest jars and can add these dependencies directly so say for example i have to add selenium okay so i'll say selenium web driver search for that 
and you will see selenium java comes up right it is the last release of october 13 so looks like this is the selenium 4 which we'll be working with so simply open that click on this 4.0 this is what we'll be using and you can copy you can see that this is the maven tag already selected right this is what you need to copy simply click it has been copied and now in eclipse within dependencies we'll simply copy and paste that right and as soon as you will save it you will see that in the right hand side it has started building right so let me move here all right so in the right hand side you can see that it is building so what exactly it is doing it is basically downloading this particular jar selenium java jar and then it will it is it will be configuring so once this build has been building has been 100 percent you will see the external dependencies addition here okay so same way we can do the others okay so what is the next one test ng report ng right so let's quickly search and add all of those dependencies right so you can see now maven dependencies folder is here okay so that's what basically it is doing so you'll see that selenium java jar has been download it now let's go ahead and download the test ng and report ng as well so we'll go and search for test ng and you will see test ng is here that's the feb release so let's add the latest one 7.4.1 copied and paste it here okay within the dependencies tag so any dependency that you want to add goes into the dependencies tag you will see the dependencies and then dependency tag then closing dependency tag right so that's how it will get okay and if you notice here the group id and the artifact id right and the version okay so that's how basically the maven project so this is the same thing that we understood about the creation of the maven project what what group id is an artifact id right so even selenium you can see when the selenium developers are developing that's how they are adding the group id so org.seleniumhq.selenium and then whatever the project it is so it is selenium java and the version that they are releasing okay so let's go ahead and add others as well so report ng report ng is it is simple html reporting plugin for test ng unit testing framework that's what it is it is the old one uh, but that should do we are just learning how to configure or how to do the reports with using report and the ng and then we'll go to the advanced report so don't worry about that then we have this log4j apache pi and web driver manager okay so let's see log4j and you will see that apache log4j that's the one that we are interested so apache log4j 1.2 okay all right so you can see that this artifact was moved to log4j core so we'll go to the core or just search again log4j core and i think we will also need log4j api so we'll add log4j core and we'll go back and we have this log4j api as well okay so add both the next is apache poi and web driver manager so you will see that apache poi copy that and let's see if anything else from apache poi all right i think that should be fine apache poi common is what we have already added okay so let's start with this if there are something more um, versions that are required we'll cover as we go along okay then we have this web driver manager okay so let's search for web driver manager or we'll simply say selenium web driver manager because we need to get the right version but do not worry about any of the issues that you might face because i'm starting it from scratch and we'll be covering any of the issues or any dependencies that are not being covered All right so this is let's search separately selenium web driver manager you'll see that this is what we are looking for so automated driver management somehow was not able to find it there get the dependency here documentation okay so setup so here you'll see the web driver manager we typically use build tool so let's go to the maven or oh, they have already given here so we'll simply copy that right so that's what we have to add okay so we'll simply copy that if you're not able to get something from the maven repository simply google around and you should be able to find the details all right so let me save it and select everything right click source and we'll format okay or just press ctrl shift 
f and it will format your form.xml file and we will save it and now you will see that it is building it will basically download all of these dependencies and will store here in the maven dependencies section that you see here right so all of these dependencies will now be automatically downloaded and will be available in your project for you to go ahead and start using the now, this is the base list basically, right? So there might be some issues as we go along, uh, but we will figure that out and we will solve those. So especially if there is something more required in Apache POI or Log4j, we'll figure that out and we'll work that out. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. As of now, just make sure that your Eclipse ID is ready up to this particular instance. And once the building has been 100%, that means everything has been downloaded and we can start writing our Selenium test case. So we'll write the first test case. We'll see what the challenges are when we write the test case without the framework approach and then we'll start converting that test case with the framework approach and see the benefits of the selenium with java automation framework so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching